Hello, welcome back to the glorious adventures of the underground explorer. Eh, not really glorious. So last time we were here at the campfire and I'll show you how I walked. As you can see we walked over here, hanging right, nothing much but a ship. There was no secret, so I guess this is just a pretty sight. Campfire over here and then the pantry can go into the crystal mines, crystal caves. I had the fishing spot over there, then I went up here north. Until, well, I think I went the longer way around, so I got over here. Or I don't remember, I, yeah, I got like this. And then I went over here, found the campfire, and then the mana rift opens a portal over here, and guess what, it's a boss. Shoot it. Oh. Okay, that makes more sense. I guess you need a mana crossbow, otherwise, you'll not be able to even engage it. And the problem with this type of setup is well, you it's very hard to change your weapon, so I guess. I guess we don't need the hammer. Well, that's annoying. So I guess in the first slot you always have to have a weapon. Okay, let's try again. <clears throat> Does it have a suit? It looks like it has a suit like me. <laughs> it's actually wearing a suit, okay. I mean, this is not a very hard combat. Uh, well, I guess it's not a very hard combat at my level. I guess we, are, we hit the corporate boss zombie. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Man, imagine if you have to do this without, you know... While being, while being lower level. Why can I equip the... Sledgehammer? Well, that will be a problem. I guess you're supposed to come over here and activate this thing to make this to make the boss easier for you to destroy. Well, I guess it's too late for that. Okay, so definitely activate this control tower before you try to kill the zombie. Otherwise, it kill the boss. Otherwise, it will be a very painful and a very short experience for you. What was the point of this area? I really don't see the sledgehammer anywhere. Oh. No, I think I just imagine things. So yeah, we, we died. Uh, I mean, we haven't died to a boss in a very long time anyway. What is the purpose of this location? It's, is it just to kill a boss? Uh, yes, from what I can see the purpose of this location is only to have a boss and no reward. Well, I guess you get that this blue eye ore, but yeah, I have a lot of them. No, really, is this the only point of the place? I 
Yeah, it's a weird location. Why would they put a boss with no reward? I guess this was meant for just a challenge like this. Yes. <clears throat> well, there's nothing else I can do over here or see over here, so let's go back. I'd be disappointed with that little boss fight. I guess we can upgrade our mana crossbow right now. Do we want to upgrade it? Probably. Wow, upgrading the power fist is such a big challenge. I mean, it's really a challenge. It's not. I have to do it off camera. No, let's not upgrade that. <laughs> okay, now that we got this out of the way, what, where are we supposed to go? I guess we can try and see what's over here, and then we'll have to loop back to the... Link Tower over there. Yeah, this is interesting. I didn't find anything interesting in these places either. I mean, there was a note and something about the crystals shattering while being mined, but eh, not much. Oh, yeah. I guess this was a decent reward. <laughs> I guess my problem right now is that I'm trying to finish the content, but it feels like the developer sent us on wild goose chases. We're, we're chasing bosses that don't give anything, we're finding locations that don't have any rewards, we're going places that basically are placeholder in a way. Let's go back. Let's go back. I mean, it was pretty hard arriving here, so eh, that's why I guess I'm a disappointed adventurer. Yeah, I think this had the note. It's just like the other one we found in the laboratory, I think. Or in Dog Slab. So let's fully explore this place. Maybe something happens if you kill the boss. <laughs> One hit stun. Uh, still unusable. What are you doing over here? I need six. <coughs> Sadly, this means the closest fireplace is back the way I came. Okay, I guess you can go back. I mean, yeah, I was not expecting uh, such a big, uh, you know, wind up. <laughs> I guess it's just running. There are no traps. A few enemies here and there, but not much. They're just getting back. I mean, I could kill them, but uh, I'm too lazy to kill the zombies right now. Oh, did I have the materials? I might have had the materials with me. Why is this happening? Uh, huh. 
Hmm, something weird is happening, so... Okay. <laughs> that radio tower produces a lot of static noise. Whoop. <laughs> they don't even see us at our current uh, <coughs> upgrades. I mean, we ha we had a lot of food that increases the or decreases their view range. Okay, game. Let me see where I'm going. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm. 100% sure the DLC is worth it. But I just feel like some locations are filler locations. Of course we are a bit high level for this area anyway. Hidden workshop. Well that sounds like a location I should be if it says hidden. Oh, and there is a farm as well. Okay, this is a good location. Lobster? No lobster. Yeah, this is a, actually a great location if you are playing the game in the beginning. Because you need so much mana beads. And here you can get the mana beads, the enhanced planting sack. And there goes again those crates, the company crates are here. It shouldn't kill us. I would be very angry that killed us. Well... <clears throat> I guess this is where a big mana chunk was growing, so... Eh. Yeah, let's explode everything. Oh, so this is where you find Doc's house key. <laughs> well, I found it finally after destroying the walls. Captures this fascinating is called bring upon your deepest desires and hopes. I hope this person has shrimp. Oh. Come on, does nobody eat shrimp around here? Well, it said... I say shrimp, but it's actually lobster. Hmm, they look like they eat mostly rice. I know what mana is, or more aptly, I know what we are. Only one thing left to do. <coughs> that sounds like a bad time, so... I guess the question is not what is mana, the question is what are we? Only one thing left to do, what? What is the thing? Yeah, a weird little location. I don't know what to say about it. Well, I guess if it adds to the story, okay. Okay, let's get out of this place before I get lost again. A uh, very cool location, a boss, I found hook ski, which I don't need because I broke the walls. Okay, uh, that was scary, I forgot this has... Oh, the holes in it. So I guess we fully explored the crystal caves, more or less. Oh, what do you have over here? 
Well, more junk. I guess I don't want... Uh, yeah, I have a big problem when I want to destroy stuff. I don't want to destroy anything. So that's probably why I'm not higher level, even though I kind of finished the entire game. Keep out here. I think there will be more death traps over here. Well, it doesn't help me that I'm full health, okay. I think that might have been Doc. I'm not sure if that boss was Doc, but he was wearing a suit. I suppose he... Find out what he was, and then he transformed himself into a super, uh, superhuman or super powered ex-human with mana powers, or enhanced by mana. I don't know. This looks like an interesting place. Uh, no, nope. nothing. We might find more recipes over here. Cave, cave of wish, cave of wishes. I like how this sounds. Or maybe it's the place where your wishes never come true. Well, in that case, I don't like it. If he didn't howl at me, I would have, I would have probably been hit. What is what kind of a weird bug was that? I couldn't move. Hmm. Is this an important location to put something in it? I, we might find a fireplace. I don't want to go all the way back. Oh, that's so far away. I don't think there will be anything special in that uh, wishing well. Also, don't see any fish in the water. Where are all the fishes in this place? Did they just run away from me? Probably. <laughs> That looks menacing. And I guess this is all explored territory. Or no, it's not. Okay, so this is still new territory. What do we do here? Jump? No, it looks like it's leading me somewhere. Yeah, just... Let's just pull a safety hill, just in case. I don't think we'll be able to do much this episode, but I just wanted to show you the boss fight. And I guess I'm also gathering stone for my power fist upgrade since it's clear that the game wants you to use it. And I guess I'll have to make a separate video of just me going around with the power fist and destroying stuff. And that would be cool. Well, we have a treasure, finally.
Now, I'm also collecting all of these materials because I want to, you know, be level 100 at least. Even though it's not really needed or recommended you play this much to level so much. Yeah, so this is all just a big dead end. I hate when the game does it like this. I also dislike the huge amount of times I just have to reorient my camera. Yeah, a little combat to, you know, get the blood flowing. I kill so many of the big guys. Yeah, we explored the stray house. We, we have explored everything. Oh, I wish we had that teleport option. Oh, this is just a big loop around and I'm not sure how to get to the central part again because if I remember correctly you have to go all the way down and that's so boring. I'm not sure if this is the right way, but... Oh, you get stuck in so many things. I'm also trying to always play with the map face to the north. Because it's much easier to orient myself. Okay, so we got this under control, more or less. Oh, please don't be another dead end. Yeah, there are too many dead ends in this game. I don't feel like, you know, following all... Yeah, it's so stupid. It's stupid. <clears throat> Sorry about the squeak, the chair. It's so stupid. Because I'd rather die and come back over here than just, you know, continue playing. And this is not... This is not a good design decision. It's so hard to get what you want. And that's mostly because the map doesn't help you. The map is a big, big problem. This could have been so easy if you could just, you know, change levels faster. Oh, it's such a big way. I don't... No, I don't know what to say. This is the worst part of the game for me, apparently. Because I was just exploring to see what's in the caves. I killed the boss. I didn't get any re rewards. And now, as punishment, I basically have to find an impossible road. Yeah, this is why I like the overall map a lot more. You have a few choke points, but overall, the, the navigation is pretty easy. <clears throat> and you kind of know where you're going in this... In the DLC, you have no idea where you're going. You might go in a straight up direction to your objective and then you find you are in the exact opposite direction. Uh, I might be dead. I I went to take a, a very fast bath. Yeah, I don't understand the purpose of this area. It doesn't feel like there is anything. Well, nothing except the boss. Um, 
I guess I'm on autopilot right now. I don't know. This part of the game is really annoying. You really need the fast travel option in this place. If I had known I would have focused on completing the main mission, but I didn't know, I thought the explosion would be fun, but nope. And now I just have to think about how to get back to the main part of the island, or the main part of the underworld. But like I said, there are too many death pits, there are too many directions that lead to a dead end. I guess I will reach the dead end again. Keep out. I am going out. Just let me go out. So I suppose this will just be uh, another row of dead ends. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dead people for dead ends. That sounds like a political campaign. Or dead ends for people. <laughs> okay, so let's save our progress at Glimpse. And I hope I can go down and some... I don't know. I don't think this will work, but we'll try it anyway. And also, always try to decide those fake crystals, because that's how I mark if I was in a location or not. Oh, this is also new to me. Yeah, I'm not sure about that mechanic either, it's super annoying to just go all the way over there. I guess I'd have more motivation if I was playing in the beginning, but now at the end I don't need anything. I don't think we can go up the cliff over here. Ah, this game would be so easy if it had jumping. So what is the point of coming down here? I guess I should have fixed the bridge when I could. No. Well, let's see if we can go back and find another way. Otherwise, we'll just have to fix that bridge. So I like destroying these things because they give you a lot of useful materials. Yeah, too many dead ends, I don't like it. And I, like I said, I want to make the videos a lot shorter, but this is ridiculous. No, we have no way. We have no way of traversing this, so we ha really have to go back to the fireplace, get the timber. I hope it was 6 and not 8. <laughs> Wait, what's on in this direction? Eh, probably just more useless stuff. 
But you never know when you might find treasure. Onions and grain. Perfect. Oh, timber and steel. Well, I guess this was worth it. I guess I shouldn't destroy those because they look pretty nice. Hmm, okay, so this was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I should leave those hanging uh, sacks alone. Careful now, don't die. Okay, so apparently this way is not accessible through here. So that means, oh, this will be easier. I'm not sure if I can go through there, but I can definitely go through the city, avoid it, go to Doc's house. Oh, okay, okay. I'll try it. Salut. <laughs> Finally. Ah, let's enter it, why not? Finally made it. Okay, see you next time. Actually, hmm. nah, nothing. Huh, not bad. <laughs> 